It happened 15 years ago. Every time I recall the experience, it is so real. I met God and heaven and my dead mother. This experience changed my future life and made me a better person. There was a time when I had doubts about whether God was real. Until one day, 10 years ago, I changed my mind. I had a boyfriend at the time and from the moment I met him, I knew he was the one for me. I loved his tenderness and romance. Because of work, he and I hadn't seen each other for a week. He called to tell me that he would be back today and I was very happy. I planned to drive to pick him up first. When I got home, I changed my clothes. I called him and told him I was on my way and couldn't wait to see him. We continued to talk on the phone and he told a joke and we laughed together. Suddenly, I appeared in a black void. I couldn't see or hear anything. I don't know how long I wandered around in the blackness, I started to panic and eventually I gave up. I sat down and started crying, wondering how long I would be here and if I would ever see my boyfriend again. I don't know how long I waited. Finally, with grief and panic, I cried out to God for help. The darkness suddenly disappeared and was replaced by light. A bright light filled with love drowned me out. Standing in front of me was my mother, who had died many years ago. When I was very young, she chose to take her own life. Mom and I had never been very close. But standing in front of her, I could feel the love she had for me. I always resented in my heart that she left us. I was very surprised to see her here. Although I was not a Christian at that time, I knew that if you kill yourself, you will be left in hell. I asked her how she could be here. He told me that every soul goes to heaven, but they have to go through their own personal hell. I asked her, what does personal hell mean? Is it the darkness that I just experienced? She told me, that is not my personal hell. When I go through it, I will know what it is. I asked what happens in hell. Her words scared me. She said, Every word I say that hurts someone, every sinful thing I do, is magnified thousands of times. I told her, I don't want to go through that. She told me, everyone has to go through this process. Suddenly, the light and love disappeared. I appeared in my own hell. A hell of my own making. I wasn't a perfect person, I was a jerk in life, and when my mother committed suicide, I became worse. I said a lot of hurtful things to my dad and I blamed him for my mother's death. I also beat up my sister a lot. Even as a stranger on the internet, I said a lot of hurtful things to people. I didn't realize at the time how hurtful those words were until they got into my soul. And the curse I put on my mother after she committed suicide. I swore I would never forgive her and I hope she burns in hell forever. I now feel like my soul is burning all the time. Here's the worst part, I experienced loneliness without faith, a world without anything. I don't know how long I was in hell, but when I came back into the light, I was crying uncontrollably. I had subjected people to so much hurt that I was completely broken. When I came out, my mother was still there, and she immediately hugged me. She reassured me that everything was going to be okay. I asked her, where were you when I needed you? And why you chose to leave us? She looked at me, with tears in her eyes, and apologized. She explained, she had been experiencing pain, but she didn't know how to get rid of it. Seeing my mom crying, 
I knew then it was time to forgive her. After hearing her apology, my hatred for her disappeared. I whispered, I forgive you. When I finished saying this, I appeared in a beautiful place. I saw a crystal castle surrounded by light in the distance. I stood there in amazement. Heaven was really so beautiful. I felt so peaceful that I wanted to stay. I wondered if I would have a chance to stay after going through hell. I heard someone call my name, and when I turned my head, I saw Jesus. He had blue-green eyes and curly brown hair. He was wearing a white dress. He told me. I can't stay, I have a mission to complete on earth. I asked him what his plans were. Jesus showed me everything that was planned for me. I saw that I was married and that I had two beautiful girls. I even learned their names. He told me again that I could not stay and that it was time to leave. He told me, we will see each other again. When I woke up in the hospital, my boyfriend was holding my hand. I asked him what had happened. He told me that I had been in a coma for a week. A pickup truck had crashed into my car. My boyfriend stayed with me during my recovery. My boyfriend and I did end up getting married, and we had our first girl not long after we were married. I am very thankful to God. I didn't believe in God at first, but he protected me and kept me alive. 